I make significantly less money than I did living in the US, but I work fewer hours. I am less stressed. And overall, my life is just filled with much more positivity and joy. I love my life. My name is Adelia Borashade. I am 48 years old. I quit my teaching job in the US and now I live in Mexico City. Since moving abroad, the thing in my life that has changed the most is how I think about work and how I think about leisure particularly here in Mexico and Mexico City, things are just a lot more laid back than in the US. I am no longer in a rush to do anything. My days are filled with exploring the city, visiting museums, trying new cafes and restaurants, attending various events that the city puts on, going to dinner and jazz down the block. I take naps now, I didn't do that before. I worry about money less here, and it's not a factor of I have more of it, because I don't. <laughs> but it is more of the way the system is set up. I've got more options here than I did in the US if things were to go south financially. I don't budget. My financial priorities are funded first and then I don't worry about how the rest of the money is spent. But having income as an entrepreneur that goes up and down each month, that keeps things exciting, keeps me on my toes. I can at least afford to go to the doctor here or the dentist. Those things are within my reach where they weren't before, even with medical insurance. When it comes to food prices, I do not cook a lot. If I'm going out to eat, let's say I'm doing an entree, a cocktail, that might be about $20 USD. If I'm just eating tacos, probably $4 for three or four tacos. How often do you eat tacos? Uh, I eat tacos very often. <laughs> I'm not gonna say daily, but multiple times a week. I probably worked about at least 60 hours a week. I was cratering under the weight of all of the expectations on me as a teacher. I just came to a point where I was like, I can't physically do this anymore. I knew that the life I was going to have after divorce was gonna be one that I determined what happened. I got to do the things I always wanted to do. The impetus for my move abroad was a realization that the life I wanted to live, I could not live in the United States. And it turns out I was right. I could have the life I wanted somewhere else. Twenty years of teaching in the United States, I made just shy of $60,000. And I left the U.S. to take a job that was going to pay me 60% less than that. I had my eyes wide open. I moved to Mexico City because I wanted to live someplace in Latin America where I could continue to improve my Spanish. And I wanted a city that was walkable and had mass transit and had a strong international airport. 
My favorite thing about living in Mexico City, this is a toss up. It's neck and neck between the tacos and the overall vibe and the unexpectedness of things. You may see someone riding down the street on a unicycle in a genie costume, and that's just Tuesday. Like, I love that. I've become an entrepreneur, which was kind of a surprise. I have been working primarily doing financial education, financial coaching, along with some relocation coaching. And more recently, I have partnered up with someone and we host retreats around the world. When I left the U.S., and was living on less money. That made me reevaluate kind of everything. I looked at the money I'd set aside for retirement and all of a sudden fire, financial independence, retire early became an option when it was not an option previously. Looking at my numbers, turns out that I had already achieved Coast Fire. So I have enough money saved and invested for retirement. The money that I make now, I can just live on. So saving isn't a top priority. Despite making less money, there are certain luxuries that I could afford because of the cost of living here. Somebody cleans my house once a week. That was not something I was able to do in the United States. Not having to worry about that allows me space to do the other things in my life and to be present for those things. I think when you have US dollars and you are making much more money than folks in the local economy, you've got to be particular about where you spend your money and how you spend your money, understanding what prices are like and trying to be responsible in how you use your economic power. The sacrifices I've had to make living in Mexico City are primarily related to my children and my grandchildren. I can't always be there for birthday parties. My middle granddaughter, I couldn't be around when she was born. So there's that piece of it. I have always seen myself as an immigrant because my intention was to move here and build a life here. I can tell you that for me, my dream life is almost the antithesis of what we consider to be the dream life in America. I do not own a lot of stuff. I make a point not to. It's not about accumulating wealth. It's about having control over my time. That is my dream life.